and here we go y'all how you doing thank you If you like what you see, why don't you think about subscribing? And make sure to check out my channel for videos just like this. What's going on folks? It's me, Mr. Bucklist here. And today I'm aboard the Wonder of the Seas where I'll be presenting a full tour and review of Wonderland. Let's check it out. Now, just to give a very brief breakdown of this video, yes, I will be giving you all a full tour and review, but I'll also be sharing my full experience. So what I mean by that is I'm going to cut the music, I'm going to cut my narrations and just gonna let you all listen to the actual story that's going on. So when my server comes over, he gives me a breakdown of the food. And when the Mad Hatter comes over, he just kind of comes and talks to me. So I'll let you all experience that as well. So you'll know exactly what's going to happen if it's worth it or not for you. So I hope you all enjoy this video and let's get to it. Now, the first thing I do want to mention is this restaurant is beautiful. It reminded me of something I would see at Disney World. Um, if you all didn't know, I worked at Disney World, so I went to a lot of different Disney World restaurants. And it literally reminded me of being there between the Mad Hatter and his outfit and just the atmosphere all together was just really cool. Um, not to mention it was multiple levels. Um, so when I went on the Quantum of the Seas, um, they have Wonderland as well, but it was just a lot smaller one level and it just felt really cramped. But this one... It's huge in comparison. It's just a really nice restaurant. Another cool thing that you all probably saw is that it has very large windows and what it does is it stares out into the back of the ship. Um, so it's pretty cool. It stares out to the, basically the um, boardwalk area of Wonder of the Seas. And then for anyone that was curious, I actually did have this meal and this experience um, by myself. So this was a solo cruise, but the reason why I was by myself was this was actually one of the first things I did when I got on board for my cruise. Um, I scheduled my dinner for, I believe it was like 5.30 or 6 o'clock. I didn't want to miss the sail away, so I made it pretty early. And so as a solo cruise, I really hadn't met people yet because I had just got on board. And so I did have this dinner alone, um, if you all were curious about it. Another thing I want to mention is they did actually have candles, but they are all electric candles. So, of course, if you're on a cruise ship, if a candle falls over, it lights a fire. It's pretty much game over for everybody. And so they actually do play it safe and they do actually have electric candles. It was pretty funny. This guy couldn't get this one to work for whatever reason. But for anybody that was curious about it, that's what's going on. Drunk already. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so as you know, Wonderland is an imaginative region inspired by Alice in Wonderland. Uh huh. So now, our journey will begin now. So you have the menu in front of you, uh -huh. and we have the brush here. So now you need to start brushing the menu. Okay. So in the meantime, it is still sparkling water or some regular water for you, sir? Uh, regular water, please. Regular water. Okay, y'all, uh, here we go. Oh, uh, this is so crazy. I just want to cut in and give some brief things to go over. So as you all saw, you do receive a menu that you have to paint with like a little paintbrush and some water. And that's how it pretty much shows what's available. And then what they actually do is they actually decide what they want you to eat. So it's actually pretty cool. It's pretty controlled. Menu. So for this one, if you want me and the chef, we can create the tailor menu for you. Okay. Where you can experience like the sun, the eye, the fire. It's going to come like a single bite or like a sharing dish. So you cool. can experience a little bit of everything. Is it fine for you? Absolutely. Perfect. Cool. And followed by the earth and the sea, it's our main course. So for this one, we'll have to pick up either from the earth or the sea. Okay. But just to let you know, we do have two small appetizers also there. Mushroom risotto, mm -hmm. it's an appetizer. Liquid lobster, it's an appetizer also. Okay. And the rest, it's a main course. Okay. Got it. Do you have any preferences I can recommend you? Like meat, fish, or... I do like me and I'm I'm a YouTuber, so it's something that looks amazing. Um, but the unique thing about that is the more people that are with you, the more options, the more food you're going to receive. And basically the more examples of just strange food you're going to have at your table. And so obviously since I was by myself, I got the least amount because I'm just, it's just one person. Um, so kind of keep that in mind if you're going with a large family or if you're just going with like a date or something, or if you're going solo like myself, it's going to be a variety of different food that you're going to see depending on how many people you have in your party. Here is our bird nest. Okay. Now we're gonna see the bird fly. Here we go. Oh. One, two, and three. Oh. Ah. Wow. Here that is go. crazy. Cool. Here is our bird nest from the element of fire. It's a half boiler. We mm -hmm. fill it with 
fill it up inside with cheese, sriracha, spicy mayonnaise, and on the top we have a tempura rum, and it sits on a katefi dough. Katefi dough, katefi dough it's a crispy pastry. Mm -hmm. so in this one you can eat everything in this one. Second one from the element of sun, have the lime marinated shrimp. It's a deep fried shrimp, very crispy outside, but inside it's very tender. Uh -huh. And we serve it in a scotch bonnet form. You will find it in the espresso cup. So you can have the shrimp. Okay. Here's the one from the Some new release on the top for you. Mm. Enjoy. Thank you. Now, as you all probably saw, each and every item has like a story that goes with it. And so I'm not too familiar with Alice in Wonderland, so I really didn't know what was going on. Um, but the guy was just kind of explaining the food and then he would tell me exactly what, it's, what it is or what it's supposed to be and things like that. So it was pretty cool. Now, I will tell you this. If you're someone that does not like to try new and unique food, just stay away. Just go to the buffet or the main dining room. Do not come here because you will be extremely disappointed. It's a bread beef show tree. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a chocolate bar. <laughs> Alright, cool. It's a bread beef show tree. It's braised in a red wine sauce for six hours. Mm -hmm. So with a mashed potato. And we're gonna start. Red relish, apple puree, malum tomato, butternut squash puree, yellow relish, and together with a Bordeaux sauce. So whenever we have a bite, we can have any relish or any sauce you would like. Oh cool. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna have it, sir. Thank you. And then finally, after you get your cycle of appetizers, you receive your entree. And so for mine, it was like this beef. It was really, really good. I just didn't know exactly what they were aiming for as far as the story. The guy was telling me, but by that time, I was just like, man, I'm just hungry. Um, but it looked like a piece of cake with little stuff around. Again, I, I don't really know, but it was just really good. It was the most tender beef I've ever had. Um, really great. And I actually saw this on another person's YouTube channel. They recommended it, how good it was. And they were right. So, I mean, I definitely recommend if you go to this restaurant, if they give you an option to say which entree you want, let them know you want that beef because it's really good. And it also looks like a piece of cake. And then finally, you do receive a dessert. And the dessert was actually extremely good as well. It's like the last two things that they had, the entree and the dessert, literally just made the meal what it was. It was amazing. Um, but it was just a chocolate covered ball with caramel and popcorn and things like that. And the way it melted and everything, as you all can see in this video, it was just so good. Crazy. Yeah, oh, wow. Oh. Inside, oh. peanut butter ice cream with a chocolate mousse inside. Wow. Enjoy. Thank you. Any coffee for you? Can I get for you? Oh, no, I'm good. Yeah. Thank you. Wow, y'all see that? It is just falling apart. That's crazy. Well, nice to meet you. Better late than ever. Absolutely. So, I'm the Mad Hatter. Mm -hmm. You see, I was born and raised here. Okay. So, most of the time, you see me there, there, kind of everywhere and nowhere. <laughs> the Red Queen, she wants to chop my head. Mm. Well, you see, she has a big head, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then, the Cheshire Cat, Save my life, mm -hmm. and now I'm stuck here in this loophole, drinking tea all the time. Oh no! Oh yes, <laughs> me, the white rabbit that is lay for the I saw. And the door mouse <laughs> is leaving my teacup. And then after I completed my meal, the Mad Hatter actually came to my table just to have a quick conversation. So in regards to my final thoughts and review of this location, um, I'm going to have to score two different ways. So for people like myself that love to try new foods and love to just try new experiences, this is definitely going to be a must do. It, like I said, it really reminded me of being at Disney but on a cruise ship. It just had a different vibe than the rest of the ship and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, now on the other camp, if you're not really into trying new stuff and you're an avid cruiser and you just kind of cruise just to cruise, not necessarily try new experiences, I would say maybe try it out. Um, you may enjoy it, you may not. Um, again, the food they offer is not for everybody. I cannot stress that enough. Um, but either way, it was a really cool and really fun experience. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon. Peace out. Thanks for watching the video. If you like what you saw, please check out my channel for more videos just like this. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Until then, I'll see you next time. Peace.